Hi and welcome back to Carefree Caravanning. You join us today uh, on a very wet and windy day. It's uh, We're in Somerset, the weather really is, is not calling us to go out. So uh, today we thought we would use this time to do a little upgrade on our caravan. So um, we've got a Swift Vogue 580 that many of you may know who follow our channel. Now this is based on the uh, the Swift Sprite range um, and I think from 2017 onwards all the Swift Sprites um, and all the dealer specials that are built by, um, on them um, have the same layout insofar as the actual down lighters. So on the front here we have two down, down lighters on either side um, and they're both controlled by one master switch. I don't know if you can see that. Can you get through that, Mom Michelle? Which is just up there. Um, now, that master switch is going to have to be overridden because um, the lights that we've bought, or I've bought, uh, we've got four of them. They're these. They've been highly recommended on uh, YouTube. Um, they're LEDs. They do have dimmable at the back, so you can... Uh, brighten or lighten they also have two usb ports and they also have their own on off switch so which that renders the um the master switch is useless so that's why we're going to override that so the tools i'm using today is going to be uh we've got a range of screwdrivers mainly phillips uh purely because i don't know which ones i'm going to use uh we have a trimming tool to remove any bits and pieces that we need to on the trim. Most important, we have the radio removal tools. Now these come with majority of brand new caravans. You will get a pair of these uh, with your caravan. They'll be in your handbook or the pack that you get. If you haven't got them, you can pick these up at uh, Halfords or B&Q, or, or sorry, B&Q, or um, eBay, anything like that. Uh, but you can't remove the, well you can remove the radio, but it's extremely hard. With these, it takes about maybe eight to 10 seconds to remove the radio, which I'll show you. Um, apart from that, you need a light, which I'm gonna be using. And if you're a certain age, like myself, you need a pair of glasses so you can see what you're doing. Is that the name of um, the product, Keith? Second. Is that the name of them? Is that yeah, this is the, um, this is the name of the lights that uh, we got. I say Leisure Direct, we're not associated with them, but we paid, uh, I think it was about, 14 pounds each for them um, so yeah leshopdirect.co.uk I believe it was and it's going to get rid of all of this I mean we have USB ports um, we don't have any in this caravan so we've got all these um, adapters with we've got four or five of them all over the caravan because we're charging phones and iPads iPods and everything batteries so that's why we want to get rid of all this one of these takes two USB so job's great. So we're going to start on this side of the caravan. Now this is the hardest part because in here we've actually got the radio unit so I've got to take the radio out. So just go just under here um, and you'll see here why because this is the master switch here. Now this turns both on and off so I need to override that um, but to get to that I've got to take the radio out to then get to all of this gubbings. Uh, and then remove all of this. So we'll have a go. So I'm going to do the hardest bit first. And once this is done, then we can just get on to the other four, three. So first of all, we're going to just remove the radio. So on this one, uh, it's JVC. Uh, you just push the left at the bottom and the radio will pull out. The front cover will pull out like that. I'll get, leave that over there. Uh, next thing is this trim just pulls straight off very very straightforward now I'm going to put my glasses on and with these two instruments here these little radio removal keys uh, it tells you on them outside um, so they literally just push in in the middle both sides I hope this works and the radio just literally pulls out and it's as simple as that so I just need to get up here, get all the gubbings out. Do somehow. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove the aerial cable from the radio, and then I'm, rather than take this chop away, um, I'm just going to remove it here. You've got a little button there. Just push that down, release catch, and it just pulls straight out. So that's the radio done. 
that was about 10 seconds I think so we'll get rid of the radio over there for the moment we won't need that for some time okay so the next job we're going to do use the radio removal keys you won't need them anymore is coming to the top now can you see at the top I don't know if you can see here just there that's it we've got a couple of grommets that need to come off so I can just move they should just pop up yep so that's one done and another one done and we've got two Phillips screws so I'm going to remove these two Phillips screws sorry if this bit's boring and I'm hoping that there are another couple of grommets and screws at the front here but I think that's just to hold the yes it is that's just to hold the whole lot together so I'm just going to remove those two screws no I won't I'll leave them in and there you go so that's now come right out just take all the wiring out you don't need to take the the frame out for the radio okay so that's the hard bit done and now I've just got to get rid of these lights so okay so if you come up here so if you can see so this bit here oh, there we go. okay so here is the master switch so I'm going to just remove those two which I need to splice together so the power is on and these two are the little Mickey Mouse down lighters so again there's no power going into that now so I'm just going to remove those like so just take that away that's it so they're the wires so they're the lights and those two are the main override switch now I'm not going to connect these two together straight away because I've got to do the other side otherwise that will be live as well so to remove these we've got a couple of little screws there. They just pull out. So that's the light out, which would get loose put it on the table, and we've just got to get the switch out which I would hope would go the same way. You might need a flat screwdriver. No, the switch just pushes out as well. So, as you can see, the switch is out, the light is out, and um, hopefully the new one should cover both holes, which it just about does. So, as you can see, they're the two holes, we'll get the wire going through one of those and it will cover both holes. Right, so I'm just going to bolt the, the light on and um, then we'll just connect it all up. So moving on to the light itself, uh, they come with two screws so I'm going to use the screws that they come with. Uh, they're very small Phillips. Um, to get the plates off I'm just going to uh, somehow get that off just so I know what I'm doing so that just lifts up I think normally once it's on then you just twist it on so I'm just lifting the plate up and then we've got uh, a couple of screws holes where we'll bolt the screws into okay so moving on the first thing we're going to do is just pop a screw through and then we can align it to where we want it to go. So moving up to the light, where we want it to be. I'm hoping that we're going to cover. We'll probably put those through there. So if I put that like there, I think that's covered the hole. Sorry, Sean. <laughs> I'm just going to move around to the other side because I can't really see what you're doing. That's okay. Right, so I think I've got the holes covered. 
and I'm going to just using a screwdriver it would be better if I did a pilot hole but I can't be bothered there you go uh, if you're doing anything like this it's always never 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 use an electric screwdriver because that's um, far too vicious and uh, you'll probably overdo it so just use a normal screwdriver by hand so that's one and the hole is actually covered which I'm happy about and the wire is through yeah, to the top for a moment right so I'm just going to pop the other screw in let's get that one in so that's going to go in there again and that's that one done as well it doesn't have to be over tight it's only going into some sort of ply so right so that's that all we're going to do is just pull the wire up and then put the light on onto it where the bit tough putting it on but goes on and then it just twists and that's that one done and you've got access to the USB here access to the switch when we connect it up and we've also got another USB there so just up to the top here's the wire coming through and we're just going to connect that up to the cable doesn't matter which way these go so that goes in there that goes in there I'm just going to pop the switch on just for a second just so we can make sure it works as I said I will override these so so the switch is on and there you go and we can dim them and then there was light and there you go perfect good right now you need to do the other one right so that's that one done um, I'll switch this master switch off just for the moment and then I'll show you how we're going to just override that which is a piece of cake and uh, that's that one done. Right so onto the second one now this is the front one this is should be relatively easy you've just got to remove um, a screw either side of the oops, sorry, of the cover here and I'm hoping that should come away yep that's just come away so that's that out of the way, let's just get the screw and this should be really straightforward. So you've got your connectors, so I'm just going to undo those, another one that's a bit stiff and I get it out, that's that one out and that one out and the light just pops out and that's as easy as it is. So we'll get the new light. Okay, so the second light um, I'm going to pop up here. There's no point in me showing you how I screw it in because you've just seen uh, it's very straightforward and it plugs straight in. So I'm just going to put the other three up and then um, we'll do the uh, master switch, override that, and then um, we should have four spotlights with eight USBs. Okay, so we've managed to put all four spotlights up. And I'm just going to override the main master switch. Uh, I've already done it on that side, so I'll show you how we do it. So this is the master switch. Um, switches them both on and off. I switch that on. That'll go off. So all I'm going to do is just take the two cables out like that. 
and obviously I've got to connect these two together. Now you've got a couple of choices, two or three choices. I'm going to use a connector which I'll show you in a second. Um, if you want you can um, just cut the wires which I'm going to do. You can solder them together um, and then put a bit of heat shrink on them or if you just want to do something quickly then just cut the wires, connect them together and just insulate them. So I'm going to start by just cutting the two wires, getting rid of the blocks. That's one gone. And that's the other gone. Oh, somewhere. Don't want that one there. Right, so I'm just going to split the wires just using a pair of side winders, side cutters, side winders. Just going to tidy them up just by twisting them together. Now I'm using a connector as I said, it's going to be one of these, um, very straightforward. Uh, I've got a kit of these so that's why I've got them handy. They just literally push in and then the other one pushes in the other side. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing twisting them as you're going along. Make sure there's no wire showing if you're going to use this method. Uh, I've used the red one, you obviously get blue or red. I'm using red so if anybody, uh, if we ever decide to sell this and anybody uh, realises it's live. Uh, and then uh, this comes with a kit, um, which is something you can get from B&Q or eBay or Amazon. I've had this for years. So I'm just going to crimp them all together now. It's really simple, straightforward. This one. Two, and then just one in the middle. And that's job done. So these aren't going to go anywhere. If you want to be uh, extra, extra cautious, you can just put some uh, insulation tape around it. It's not going to go anywhere. If I had any heat shrink, I probably would put heat shrink on it as well, but uh, there's no need. So now the light should work both sides and if we go over to that side that's working as well and the master switch is gone that's it it's as simple as that so all I'm going to do now is literally just pop the radio back in so um, if I remember where everything goes so just move all that away definitely need my glasses again the joys of getting older so I uh, need to get all the cables through there through there bring all those out just the aerial cable and the speakers and what have you that's going to go in like that uh, the screws I've left in there so they should let me just get my screwdriver So I'm just screwing the housing unit back in. It's going in exactly the same place, so the screws just uh, go in nice and easy. I think that's my head. I'll just pop this cap back on. That's one. And there's another cap somewhere, which I'll put on in a minute. And just connect the radio up. So as I said, the radio you have uh, an aerial that just goes in. There's only one place for the aerial to go. And as I took this out, it's going to go straight back in the same place. Clicks back in. Push all the wires into the cage. And then that should just literally push straight back in. And you'll hear it click like that. Next thing is the cover. Cover just literally clips on like that. And then the radio goes in like that. And hopefully we shut some lights. And there you go. We've got Steve Wright in the afternoon probably on Radio 1. John it.
And there I was too. sitting in the kitchen too. asking oh, some yeah, some ready too, yeah, I'll show my list. Okay, so that's um way, that's the job done. So is adamant. Turn the radio off because we can't hear you. <laughs> Turn the radio off. I will update. I'll, I'm going to upgrade that radio to a DAB radio. Um, I'm not going to video it. I know Dan Trudgeon's done one, which is you know, faultless. You can't um, find anything. I mean, what he did is perfect. So um, we will change that at some stage. But that's how we've done it. So four new spotlights and um, eight new USBs. So hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope it's been used to you. Uh, any comments or questions just drop them in the line in the comment box below if you've liked what we've done please give us a subscribe and we really appreciate it it keeps us going and shows us that you're interested in what we're doing uh, you know we love doing these videos and showing you what we're doing so thank you very very much indeed for watching and we'll catch you next time thanks a lot bye bye now